What if you are designing a circuit in the Fritzing and you are unable to find your component in the library? In this video, we will learn how to add a component if it is not available in the library by default. This is the second tutorial of Fritzing and I would recommend you to check out the first part also. You will find the link of the introduction video in the top right corner. If you are planning to work with Arduino and develop amazing electronics projects, then all you have to do is to press the subscribe button and enjoy various other tutorials that are specifically designed for both beginners and advanced level users. Hello everyone and welcome to Engineering Online. I am going to design a circuit using Arduino Uno, which detects the flames and turn on alarm buzzer and LED. To detect the flames, I need to add a flame sensor module here. When I search this module in the library, there is no such module available. So to add this module write flame sensor fridging library in the google search bar and open this link. This website provides various Arduino modules for fridging that are not found in the library. You can download this module and extract it. Now open the fridging software, click on the import and then select the library file that you have downloaded recently. This module is now added in the my part section. Now let's make our circuit. Select Arduino Uno from the library. Then write red board in the search bar and drag a board in the working area. It was a mini board so I have changed it into a half board. You can rotate it as per your choice by entering the degrees here. Or you can use the control plus R option also. You can zoom in and zoom out as per your choice by moving the slider. Now add an LED from the library. Next I am adding a resistor. This resistor would be connected to the anode pin of LED. Now I am providing 5V from the Arduino 5V pin and ground from the ground pin of Arduino. You can also change the colors of these wires. Now connecting the cathode pin of LED with ground and resistor with the pin 10 of Arduino. Next I am adding a buzzer here. Its black pin would be connected to the ground and red pin would be connected to the pin 8 of Arduino. Next I am adding flame sensor here. It has 4 pins. The out pin is connected to the pin 7 of Arduino. VCC pin is connected to the 5V pin and ground pin is connected to the ground. So the breadboard connections are completed. Let's finalize its schematic now. The connections are already done. All you have to do is to give it a presentable look. Perfect so the schematic looks fine now. That was all for today. So whatever component you have to add in the library, search that component in the Google, download its fridging library and then import it. Quite simple. So well do let me know have you ever worked on the fridging software and how was your experience. If this video has been beneficial for you then do let me know by pressing the like button and share it with your fellows too. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Instagram links are added in the description box. Thank you so much for watching I will see you next time with another amazing tutorial.